What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. This is session number three of our mini series using the Baccarat derived roads. And today I'll be looking at the big eye boy while playing both the no mirror and X marks the spot. If you don't know how to use the Baccarat derived roads, go to my channel and search big eye road, small road and cockroach road. I've done videos covering all three. So I encourage you to watch those first. So you have a clear understanding of what I'm doing. I will I'll also leave a link in the description so go check those out first this is the bed spread we'll be using two levels level 1 10 20 10 20 30 level 2 25 50 25 50 75 a little different this bet spread capitalizes on win streaks so if you are playing a strategy that tends to give you multiple wins in a row often this might be the bet spread for you our win target is a hundred dollars with a stop loss of 315 dollars just a quick note on bet spreads some of you are using them incorrectly if you want to use bet spreads the right way, you have to break your original unit size down by 25-50%. For example, let's say you use $25 units. You wouldn't start level 1 with $25 bets. You would break it down and start your level 1 with either 5 or $10. So you can't say, hey, my unit size is $10. I'm going to start level one with $10 bets. That is not how bet spreads work. For a $10 original unit size, you would have to start your level one with either $2 bets or $5 bets. Okay, so this is how you would use bet spreads correctly. Otherwise, just use a different betting strategy if you're not going to break your unit size down. Let's shuffle up and get session three started. Shoe is ready to go. Let's see what the burn card is. Five. Okay. All right, we are ready to go. Again, I will be looking at the big eye road and using the no mirror and X marks the spot. Here is what I'm gonna do. I will start playing the no mirror. If I were to get three losses in a row on the no mirror, I am gonna start a sequence of X marks the spot. All right, so let's take a bunch of free hands until we have a column completed on the big eye boy. Okay, we have our first result on the big eye boy. And if you take a look at the board here, what I'll do is put R for red and B for blue. Okay, so since we have a blue circle on the big eye boy, I'm gonna go ahead and put B so you guys could follow. So let's go ahead and complete the column before we place our first bet on no mirror. Natural nine on the bank. Blue. Banker wins. Wow, Banker is dominating this shoe so far. Okay, there's the player win. So two more free hands and then we can get started. Player wins. Seven, seven tie. 
Remember, we do not record ties, so just ignore them. Banker wins. Blue. Our column is complete. We are ready to go. We can now place our first bet. So the big eye boy, just a quick reminder, it's fairly simple to follow because you're only moving one to the left. Okay, so take a look at the board here. We are betting against the blue circle, chaos. We're looking for a red predictable circle. So if you take a look at the last result, banker, and look directly below it and move one to the left, you can see that both squares are filled. Okay, so if we were to bet banker, we would get a red circle. Exactly what we want, so we are gonna bet banker. $10. Natural eight on the player. So we get a blue circle and lose. Minus 10. Okay, our next bet will also be a red circle. So take a look at the last result player, look below it and move one to the left. You can see that one square is empty and one square above it is filled, opposites of each other. So if we were to bet player, we would get a blue chaos circle. Not what we want, we want a red one. So we are gonna bet opposite of player, banker. And on a loss, we move one to the right on our bet spreads and move one to the left on a win. And I'm gonna do that throughout the entire bet spread. Okay, so there's no moving two to the left for this specific bet spread. All right, so here we go. Banker wins, red. We hit on our second bet, we win 20. What we will do now is go ahead and complete the column before we can start betting on the no mirror again. So let's take some free hands here. Natural eight on the bank. Blue. Banker wins, red, so two more free hands. And if you're following along, playing your own strategy, leave a comment below, let me know how you're doing. If you're winning, you're losing. Player wins, it's a blue. Okay, one more free hand and then we could start betting. Player wins, red, column is complete. We could start betting once again. Since we won on the $20 bet, we are gonna move one to the left. So this bet will be for $10. And what are we looking for here, guys? If we're playing the no mirror, we're looking for a red circle. So if we were to bet player, the last result that came up, if you move one to the left, you can see that both squares are filled. If they are the same, which they are, they're both filled, you will get a red predictable circle if you were to bet player. Exactly what we want, a red circle, so let's go ahead and bet player. Banker wins. We get a blue circle instead. Minus 10. We're gonna move one to the right on our bet spreads. This time we are looking for a blue chaos circle since we're playing the no mirror. So if we were to bet banker, we would get a red circle. Not what we're looking for. We're looking for blue. So I'm going to bet opposite of banker player. $20. Natural nine on the bank. So we don't get our blue circle. We get a red one minus 20. And if we were to lose this bet on the no mirror, we are gonna start a sequence for X marks the spot. But let's see what happens here. We are looking for a red circle this time, okay? So if we were to bet banker, we would get a blue circle since one square is empty and one is filled. So um, we don't want a blue circle. 
I'm not going to bet banker. I'll bet player once more. And we are moving one to the right on our bet spread. So you can see that it goes 10, 20, 10. Remember, this bet spread capitalizes on winning streaks. So we're hoping to hit some uh, win streaks here. All right. So that is why I'm going to $10 here. So let's see what happens. Banker wins, blue. So we lose the 10. We have lost three bets in a row with the no mirror. So I'm gonna start an X marks the spot sequence. Okay, let me clear this. So the X marks the spot, I'm looking for two free hands here. Player wins, blue. Banker wins, another blue. I'm now ready to bet. I'm looking for a red circle since we're playing X marks the spot. If we were to bet banker, we would get a blue circle, not what we're looking for. So I'm gonna bet on player. Moving one to the right on our bet spread, so $20. Banker wins, it's a blue circle, we lose 20. Okay, so. I'm gonna take a couple of free hands until I'm at my next bet for the X. Banker wins, red. Banker wins again, another red. All right, here is sequence number two for the X. Since we missed on the first one, we are looking for a blue chaos circle. If we were to get blue, I would have to bet player. Okay, so $30 on player. I'm moving one to the right on the loss. Player wins. We do get our blue circle. It's $30. Let's get paid here. All right, since I hit on the second sequence of the X and the column has completed, we're gonna switch back over to the no mirror. All right, guys. Um, so we're looking for a red circle here. If we bet player, we would get a red circle since both squares are filled. So let's go ahead and bet player. And I'm moving one to the left on the bet spread. So it'll be $20 on player, okay? Natural nine on the bank. So we get a blue and we lose 20. On a loss, we move one to the right. So this bet will be for $30. Looking for red once again. So I'm gonna have to go with player. $30 on player. Looking for a red circle here. Banker wins. We don't get a red circle, we get a blue one. If we lose once more, so this is minus 30. If we lose this, we're gonna play the X again. So let's see what happens here. We are now on level two of our bet spread. So $25 here. What are we looking for? Another red. So if we were to bet banker, we would get a red circle. So let's go ahead and bet banker. Level two, $25. One over nothing, banker wins. We hit on the third try of the no mirror. That's 25 for us, okay. I'm gonna stay on level two for maybe one or two more hits. 
And when it comes to the bet spread levels, I always mention how you can freestyle between them. So it depends on what kind of player you are. If you're super conservative, you can go back to uh, a certain bet on level A, but I'm gonna stick around on level two for a little longer. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and complete this column. Natural nine on the player. So that's blue. Okay, so two more free hands. Player wins. Red. Player wins. Red. Column is complete. We can start betting. All right, so let's see here. What are we looking for? A red circle. If we were to bet player, we would get a blue circle, not what we're looking for. So I'm gonna bet opposite of player, banker. So I want one more hit on level two here before I go back to level A. Player wins, blue circle, we lose 25. Okay, let's try again. This time we are also looking for a red circle. If we were to bet player, we would get a red circle. So $50 on player as we move one to the right on our bet spread. Player wins. We do get our red circle. We win $50. That is what I was looking for. One more unit on Level two, we got it, so I'm gonna go back to level one, okay? And if I were to move one to the left on level one, it would be on $30 right now. So my next bet will be $30, okay? So let's see here, let's go ahead and complete this column. I'm gonna move this over to make it easier to follow. So BR. Actually, I'll move it down slightly. Okay, there we go. Let's continue. Player wins. Red, three more free hands. Natural nine on the bank, blue. Banker wins. And one more free hand. Five, five tie. Remember, we don't record ties, so just ignore them. Player wins. Blue. Column is complete, let's go ahead and start betting. Now, just a quick note here, guys. I'm going to place a $30 bet, but you can go back to $20 if you want. But keep in mind for this bet spread, once you start somewhere, you have to move one to the left or right. Okay, if you wanna capitalize on the winning streaks. Okay, so this can be a $20 bet here, but I'm gonna to choose to go uh, only one back since you could only do that between level one and two. I hope that makes sense. All right, so we're looking for a red circle here. If we were to bet player, we would get a red circle. So let's go ahead and bet player. I'm actually gonna take some change here. Don't have enough blue chips, okay. So we are betting on player, just double checking. Yes, $30 on player. Natural nine for us. So red circle, we hit right off the bat, $30. And our bet spreads has helped us get out of the hole. 
as we are up ten dollars now so perfect all right let's uh, go ahead and complete the column here I know it's a waiting game guys banker wins but the key to Baccarat is patience if you don't have it you will get burned Natural eight on the bank, red. Banker wins. Okay, blue. Looking for two more free hands here. Banker wins. So last free hand here, and then we could start betting. Natural nine for the bank. Red, column is complete. Let's start betting. What are we looking for, guys? We're looking for a blue chaos circle. So if we were to bet banker, the last result that came up, if you move one to the left, you can see that both squares are empty. They're the same, so we would get red if we were to bet on banker we're looking for blue so let's go opposite of banker player and since we won our last bet of uh, thirty dollars i'm moving one to the left okay and this is a twenty dollar bet this bet spread i mentioned it before I'll, I'll say it again it capitalizes on win streaks so let's see if we could get something going here all right so uh here we go twenty dollars on player Natural eight, perfect, player wins. And we get our blue circle, we win right off the bat. Okay, so that's $20 for us. Look at what the bet spreads did for us guys. We won three in a row and we capitalized as we're up $30 right now. Okay, so let me move this over. Put the blue here, clear this. Let's go ahead and complete this column. Player wins. Red. I'm curious to know how you guys are doing, whatever strategy you're playing. So leave me a comment below. Let me know how you're doing. I'm always curious. <laughs> All right, five, player wins, red. So, so far we've only had to play the X once, which is a good sign. Natural versus natural, banker wins. It's a blue. Seven, seven tie, ignore that. Banker wins. And one more free hand before we start betting. Player wins. Blue, column is completed. Let's go ahead and start the no mirror again using the big eye boy. We are looking for red here, guys. So if we were to bet player, we would get red. So let's go ahead and bet player. So we won the $30 bet and then the $20 bet. So if you continue moving left, this bet here is a $10 bet on the bet spreads, okay? Player wins. We do get our red circle right off the bat. We win 10, all right? It's always good hitting right off the bat. <laughs> Let's uh, complete this column. Banker wins, red. Natural nine for the bank, red. Natural eight on the player this time. So another red.
Banker wins. Blue. One more free hand. Natural nine for the player. Red, column is complete. Let's start betting. We're looking for a blue chaos here. So if we were to bet player, we would get a chaos. So I'm gonna bet on player. Why am I doing $20? Well, take a look at our uh, last few wins here. We've won four in a row, 50, 30, 20, 10. So we're making it back slowly uh, to the beginning, okay? So if you move one to the left after that $10 win, you can see that the next bet would be $20. Again, we're trying to capitalize on win streaks. So $20 on player. Okay, banker wins. That's a red, so we lose the 20. Oops, minus 20. Okay, so I lose that. Still looking for a blue circle here. So if we were to bet banker, we would get a blue circle. So let's go ahead and bet banker. I'm moving one to the right on a loss, so that's why it's a $10 bet. Natural nine for us, banker wins. So we hit on the second bet. All right, we win 10. We recover half from the last loss, which is fine. We're still up $30. Uh, this shoe is getting close to uh, coming to an end and we're up $30. So how about we leave this table with our $30 profit we're gonna reshuffle as if we're going to a, another table. All right, and we're gonna restart. All right, guys, so $30 in profit for this shoe. I'm gonna go ahead and reshuffle. Shoe is reshuffled, ready to go. Let's see what the burn card is. A six. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take a bunch of free hands until we have a column completed on the big eye boy. So let's get started. Okay, our column is completed. We can go ahead and start betting. Since the last column, first row, it was a blue circle. Circle. We are looking for a red circle. So if we were to bet player, you can see that if you move one to the left, both squares are filled. So you would get a red circle if you were to bet player. That is exact, exactly what we're gonna do. And let me take a look here at the bet spreads. So. Let's see, we've made it down. So that was the first 20. We still haven't hit on our second 20. All right, so this will be a, this will be a $20 bet, okay? So $20 bet on player. Player wins, we hit right away, and we win $20. Do you see how we made our way left on our bet spreads? So that was our second $20 hit. So we are back to the base bet here of the first $10 on our bet spreads, all right? So we've made it all the way back left and we went to level two, remember that. We capitalized on the win streak we had and we're up $50 right now. So the next bet will be $10. Let's go ahead and complete the column. Banker wins. Red.
Banker wins. Another red. Player wins. So red is streaking right now. Banker wins. The streak breaks as we get a blue circle. There is a 7-7 seven, seven tie. We don't record ties. Wow. <laughs> Banker wins by one. Okay, we have a completed column. Let's start betting. Back to our very first bet on our bet spreads, which is a great sign. So we're looking for a blue chaos circle. If we were to bet banker you can see that if you move one to the left both squares are the same as they're both empty so we are not looking for a red circle we're looking for a blue one we're going to go opposite of banker player player wins we get our blue circle and we win ten dollars So we had a nice little winning streak here and we capitalized on it using this specific bet spread. Okay, let's finish the column. Banker wins, blue. Player wins. Red. Natural nine for the player. Two more free hands. Natural eight for the player. Okay. Natural eight again for the player. Completed column. Let's start betting. We're looking for a red predictable circle. So if we were to bet player, that is exactly what we will get. So I'm gonna put $10 on player. Player wins. We do get our red circle right off the bat. We win 10. $70 in profit, so three more to go. Let's go ahead and complete the column. Banker wins, blue. You guys shouldn't mind the weight game. Like I said, patience is the key to this game. Banker, seven over six. Three more free hands. Natural eight for the bank. Banker wins. Last free hand here. Another natural, wow, the naturals are piling up for this shoe. All right, that is blue. Okay, we're looking for a blue chaos circle here using the big eye boy. If we were to bet player, we would get red. Not what we're looking for, we're looking for blue. So let's go opposite of player, banker. Banker wins. So we do get blue right off the bat. We win 10. $80 in profit right now. Okay. Gonna move this over for you guys. Let's move it down actually. 
right, the first result was blue. Let's uh, finish the column here. Banker wins. Blue. Player wins. All right, blue might be streaking here. Let's see. Banker wins. Blue continues to streak. Okay. All right, so two more free hands. Banker wins, another blue, wow. <laughs> Banker wins, and the streak finally comes to an end as we complete our column and we are ready to go once again. So we are looking for a red predictable circle. If we were to bet Banker, that is exactly what we will get. So let's go ahead and bet Banker. Banker wins, we get our red circle right off the bat, win $10, $90 in profit, so we're looking for one more blue chip, and we will hit our win goal. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and complete this column, Six six tie, we ignore that. Player wins, blue. Banker wins, another blue. Banker wins again. Player wins, okay. Last four results were blue. Let's see when the streak comes to an end. Wow, <laughs> zero, zero tie. Natural nine for the player. All right, the uh, streak comes to an end. We can now start betting as our column has completed. So we are looking for a blue chaos circle. If we were to bet player, we would get a chaos circle. So let's go ahead and bet player. Banker wins. We get a red circle instead. We lose 10. We have to move up on our bet spreads. So next bet here will be $20 and we're looking for red this time. So if we were to bet banker, we would get red. So let's put 20 on banker. Player wins, that is a blue, we lose 20. If we lose three bets in a row here, okay, we will start a sequence on the X. So let's see what happens here. I'm looking for another red. So if I were to bet player, I would get blue, not what we're looking for. So I'm gonna bet on banker here for $10 as we move one to the right on our bet spread. Banker wins. We do get our red circle. We win 10. We end up uh, recouping only half of our last loss. So next bet will be for $20. Okay, guys, uh, let's go ahead and complete this column. Three more free hands. Natural nine for the player. Red.
player wins. Blue. Player wins. Red. Our column is completed. Let's uh, start betting. And we are moving one to the left on a win, so a $20 bet here. What are we looking for? We're looking for blue. So if we were to bet player, we would get red. So I'm gonna bet opposite of player, banker, $20. Banker wins. We do get a blue and we win $20, okay? $90 in profit, looking for one more $10 unit. Okay, so let me clear this. That was a blue, so we'll put that over here. Complete the column here, guys. Player wins. Another blue. Natural nine tie. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> four, four tie, wow. Banker wins, red. So three more free hands. Hopefully we get a hit on the next column before uh, this shoe comes to an end. Natural eight for the player. Red. Player wins. Blue. One more free hand and then we will start betting. Player wins. Red, column is completed. Let's go ahead and place our bet. Looking for a red circle here on the big eye. If we were to bet player, we would get a red circle. So let's go ahead and bet player. Since we hit um, on our bet spread, we move one to the left. So that is why it's a $10 bet. Player wins. We do get our red circle right off the bat. We win 10 and there you go. As you can see, $100 in profit. That is our win goal. So we are gonna stop right there and lock in $100. There you have it, session number three, a success. As you can see, the bet spread we used helped us with our win goal because we went on a little bit of a winning streak, which is what this specific bet spread is all about. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you have a strategy where you notice that you get multiple wins in a row, this might be the bet spread for you. You can adjust the numbers depending on your bankroll. That is it. If you enjoyed session number three, don't forget to destroy the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on bell notifications, that way you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Check out my website, mrraphael.com. I have a money management course as well as other Baccarat strategies if you wanna check those out. Thank you everybody for watching, stay safe. I will catch you in the next one, ciao.